The Beaumont Public Library System presents Robin's favorite stories. Today I'm going to read a book about a pet. Do you have a pet? Is it a good pet? What can your pet do that's special? Well today our story is Flubby is not a good pet. What do you think makes a good pet? Hmm. Think about it while I read the story about Flubby. Flubby is Not a Good Pet by J.E. Morris. So let's see. This is Flubby. He is my pet. Kim has a pet. Kim's pet can sing. Look, she's got a bird in the bird singing. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Mm, that's pretty special. Sing, Flubby, sing. Mm, do you think Flubby can sing? Mm, I don't think so. Row, row, row your boat. Blink. Meow. Flubby does not sing. Sam has a pet. Sam's pet can catch. Wow, he can jump up really high. That's pretty cool. Catch, Flubby. Catch the ball. Do you think Flubby's going to catch it? Mm, there she goes. Mm, nope. Flubby does not catch. Jill has a pet. Jill's pet can jump. Hmm, would you like a frog for a pet? Let's see, jump, Flubby, jump. Nope, Flubby does not jump. Meow, meow. Uh-oh, run Flubby, run or you'll get wet. Do you think Flubby's gonna run? Flubby does not run. Fluffy doesn't do much, does he? No, Flubby. No. Mm, look, he's shaking water all over her. Flubby does not sing. Flubby does not catch. Flubby does not jump. Flubby does not run. Flubby? is not a good pet. Kaboom! Oh, do you hear the thunder? But he does need me. Kaboom! More thunder. And I need him. Hmm. So what do you think? Flubby is not a good pet, according to the story. But what do you think makes a good pet? I think if you need that pet and your pet needs you, then I think that's a pretty good match. Well, I hope you liked the story today. I'll see you next time for another one of Miss Robin's favorites.